Question 3 is all about quadrilaterals. It says, the following quadrilaterals all have a perimeter of 36. Remember, the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. It then says, here is a table to show the length of each side. Complete the table, one quadrilateral is done for you. So a square, if the perimeter is 36, has got four sides, so you're actually doing 36 divided by four equal sides, which is why each one is nine. We've got to do a similar sort of thing for a rectangle. Well, a rectangle is going to have a pair of long equal sides and a pair of short equal sides. Well, if we place the threes on the short equal sides there, then three plus three is six. So that means we still have another 30 to go to get as the perimeter. So the other 30 centimeters must be split equally between the two long sides. So if you split 30 between the two long sides, you, you will get 15 on each side. Therefore, it must be 15 on both sides. A quick check to see if that works. 3 plus 3 is 6. 15 plus 15 is 30. And 6 and 30 makes 36. So that does work. So for the rectangle, two of the side lengths need to be 3 centimetres. And the other two both need to be 15 centimetres. If we think about a rhombus... A rhombus is actually very, very similar to a square. It doesn't have four right angles, but the similarity that it does have with a square is that all four sides are equal. So if all four sides are equal on a rhombus, they are all going to have to be nine because we know that one of the sides is already nine. So they're all going to be, have to be nine. With right at the side there, all sides equal. For the kite, the last one, well, with a kite, one thing it has in common with a rectangle is that in the same way that a rectangle has a pair of short sides and a pair of longer sides, it's the same with a kite. The two sides at the top will be the pair of short equal sides. The two sides at the bottom will be the pair of longer equal sides. So, if we're dealing with tens, and we make the two longer sides tens, well, in the same way that we did for the rectangle, let's see what's left. 10 plus 10 is 20, but we've got an extra 16 centimetres left to get us up to 36. So 16 divided by 2 means that the two shorter sides must be 8 centimetres each. So it's going to be 10 and 10 on the long sides and 8 and 8 on the shorter sides. A quick check to make sure it all works. 10 plus 10 is 20. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 and 20 makes 36. So yes, that is correct. So two of the sides on the kite need to be 10 centimetres and the other two need to be 8 centimetres.